out of hell. They plan to tread on us, me and all the rest of them. I'm a resident of Burnage. I'm a Navy veteran. I'm a sixth generation Texan. My wife's family's been in Burnett County for 130 years. I'm a lifelong Republican, which I'm not too damn proud of right now. The party's moved away from conservatives like me. Look what their incompetence has given us. Our elected representatives have rewarded law conservatives like me by standing by as we let down our guard and we have elected a fascist revolutionary to the White House. This guy's not Bill Clinton. He's not Jimmy Carter. He's not Lyndon Johnson or John Kennedy. Harry Truman and Franklin Roosevelt would spit on these people. Those presidents were not fascist revolutionaries. They were just Democrats and loyal Americans. You think Obama cares about health care? In the long term, it's not. That's why most of you are here. Short term, there will be some sort of a compromise described in such general terms that you can interpret it any way you like, and they will. In a few years, it will be about controlling one-sixth of the American economy. You'll have a single-payer system and just another step in make America a fascist state. <clears throat> Remember how the stimulus package had to be passed right away as our economy was on the verge of collapse and this package would lead us out of a depression. Then why is only 8% of that $787 billion been spent? Why are elected re Republicans not screaming about it? I submit to you that this $700 billion will come out next year in order to steal the midterm congressional elections. You can count on it. <clears throat> you think ACORN members are a sorry lot of useless incompetence. That's what a, a liberal friend of mine told me. Don't worry about them. They're just clowns. But give each one of these competences an AK-47 and you'll change your mind. There is $5 billion in the stimulus package earmarked to fund a civilian defense corps. Who do you think a civilian defense force will protect us from? I'll tell you who our, our enemies are. In their opinion, it's us. Midstream America, retirees, veterans, housewives, Republicans, Democrats, and independents who protest the nationalizing and radicalizing of America. Many Democrats and independents in large numbers have seen their error in electing a social fascist. They didn't want that. They just wanted a totally in, they just wanted a change. A change from a totally incompetent administration. They didn't want Mussolini, Hugo Chavez, Castro, Mao Tsung, or Stalin. They didn't want a fascist, but they've got one. <clears throat> if the election were held today, Obama wouldn't get out of the primaries. He knows that. So he will have to move very soon to shut down what little there is of the conservative press and the other media. God, Fox News, God bless them. We'll be eliminated very, very early. A bill has been submitted to provide for suspending the internet in the event of a crisis. The Attorney General is in the process of discrediting and disorganizing the CIA. Why? Because they are worldwide. They are a bunch of spooks. No one knows who, who they are. They are fanatically loyal Americans, and they are a primary threat to the regime. They will have to be neutralized, and that process is, is happening now. Obama has to have a crisis in order to declare martial law and suspend free elections. I think that piling trillions of dollars of debt upon the trillions already there will bring our economy down and give him the crisis he needs. If not, then eliminating the CIA will expose us to an act of terrorism that will kill many, many Americans, and he'll have his crisis that way.
you lo your lost me on swine flu. I, oh, oh, okay. Look, the swine flu crisis. He's not ready for his crisis yet. That'll, that'll come next year or the year after. It's not a pretty scenario, and I don't know the answers, but some are obvious. We'd better wake up. Our elected representatives had better start to listen. All we hear from these people back here is politics. The midterm elections will be stolen from us, and we will be on our way to living in a fascist state. Thank you very much.